Okay, boys and girls, we've already learned how to read the colour wheel, and we know that the three primary colours are red, blue, and yellow. And we're going to learn how to make the three secondary colours by mixing some of these colours together. If you can see by this plate, which is going to be something that you're going to have as well, and it's going to be your palette, I've got the three primary colours, but I've also added an additional colour. I've put white there as well, so you can change the tint of the colours that you make. Now, initially you're going to get a piece of paper. As I always say, remember to write your name on the back. Then, taking a crayon, just want you to divide up, just by drawing wavy lines, divide up your paper. So you've got something like that, so not too many lines. Now you can start initially by painting in a section using the primary colours. Now remember what I've been trying to tell you all along from the very beginning of this year is to have control and try and keep the colours within the lines. Okay, we've had a lot of practice with this recently but now instead of using oil pastels or crayons we're actually going to be using paintbrushes. Now when you're holding the paintbrush always hold it as though you'd hold a pencil down near the bottom so you've got good control. Also when you change colour, always wash your brush and then go to the new colour. Now I'm just applying some primary colours in first and then what I want to do is I want to start mixing some colours and make the new secondary colours. I'm just going to add in some blue. The easiest thing to do is when you're painting in an area is to go around the edges first and leave the centre to the very end. So go round the edges, as I always say, take great care and control on your brushwork. Okay, so just keep going until you fill that whole section in. Now you're not going to put two colours side by side. You don't want to do another blue beside it. You want to do another colour. Now I want to show you, if I take a bit of yellow, and a bit of red and I bring it together and I can draw in a bit more yellow I have created orange that is one of the secondary colours now I'm going to apply orange into another area so now I've got three primary colours on my page and an orange now I can use that orange in another area if I wish, but I just want to show you for this demonstration how to make colours. So now I'm going to pull this yellow across a little bit and I'm going to bring in just a little touch of blue. And if I just mix that up, I've created green. If I wanted to make it a bit lighter, I could just add, wash my brush, add a little bit of white, and I've got a nice soft green. So now I'm going to paint that green in here. However, if I wanted to make that green stronger in colour, I'd add more blue. And if I keep adding more blue, I get a darker, darker green. And then I can add that colour into another area. I'm going to put that over there. So I've got a dark green now. Now if I bring red across and just add a little bit of blue, this creates the next complementary or secondary colour, purple. Same thing as before, if I add more blue it makes it darker. If I want to add some white it makes it paler. Now that's a beautiful purple there. So I'm now going to paint my purple beside my orange. And again, I can keep these colours and use them in another area if I so wish. Or I can make them stronger or weaker by adding more blue or more white to make it paler. Now this is for you to experiment with today. So you're going to use this plate as your paint palette. You're going to mix up colours and when you get the colours that you like, you're then going to apply them onto your painting. 
So once you've got the colours mixed that you like, paint a section. Again, as I said, use control, take your time, keep your paintbrush within the lines. Always start from the edge and then work your way into the middle. Okay, boys and girls, now it's your turn. Let's make some art. <laughs>